Hey there Jammers, this is Ryan Bound from the University of Utah. I'm here to discuss with you what is visual art in games. What is visual art? Visual art can be broken down into elements and principles, which are the core building blocks or fundamentals of art, regardless of medium. The elements of design are the tools to make art. The principles of design are how to use the tools to make art. Below is a link to a worksheet, which is described in the next two slides. The elements of design are line, shape, space, value, texture, and color. The principles of design are pattern, contrast, emphasis, balance, proportion or scale, harmony, and rhythm or movement. But what about visual art in games? The visual art in games are created by a team of artists responsible for the look and feel of everything seen on screen by the player. This includes the following. Characters, environments, interface, animations, and of course, visual effects. To help us better understand, why don't we look at one of my favorite games, the 2D classic Super Mario World, through the lens, the elements, and principles of art and design. Characters. Characters can be classified into two main categories, player-controlled avatars and non-player-controlled, or NPC for short. Let's look at Mario. Mario is made up of lines, shapes, and colors. Let's look at the lines that make up his mustache. It almost looks like he's smiling. Here's a little fun fact. The reason why Mario has a mustache is because when he was first created, there wasn't enough pixels to separate the different features of his face. So his creator gave him a mustache to help separate his chin from his nose. Shape. Mario is made up of circles and ovals, indicating he's jolly and fun and bubbly. Color. Mario has a simple color palette of complementary colors, red and blue. Why? Because it adds contrast and emphasis. Mario can stand out in any environment the player puts him in. And scale is actually important too, because little Mario indicates to the player that one more hit and it's game over. NPCs. NPCs focus on contrast, emphasis, and scale. Look at the screen. You have Goombas and a big bullet. Contrast, emphasis, and scale let the player know immediately what is the most threatening thing, the Goombas or the bullet. This only gets heightened during boss battles. When the player encounters Bowser, heightened contrast between the background, emphasis based on isolation, and scale. Bowser is much larger than the player's avatar. Let's look at environments. Environments consist of objects or assets that are either static or dynamic, which bring life to the game world. It's not surprising that believable environments, regardless if they're realistic or highly stylized, use all the elements of design, water, forest, and deserts, and even lava. Notice how in this screenshot, the texture and the color indicate to the player the moving lava is hot and dangerous. In this screen, let's look again how texture and color indicate to the player which platforms they can stand on. Grass is put on the platforms the player can transverse. Now, if I had to pick just 
two elements of design which are really important to environments, that's value and space. And the reason why is you wanna make sure that the characters stand out from the background for readability. And that's where value comes in. Spacing is important because that's where you're placing your platforms of movement, which are patterns and there's a harmony and a rhythm. By using positive and negative space, you create an interesting level for the player to explore and move through. Interface. Interface or user interface is typically an overlay laying graphic on the screen used to relay real-time data to the player regarding how they are doing. Do you see it? Right there at the top. Notice it has everything the player wants. It's really high contrast and it's unified. It lets the player know how many lives they have, the backup power up, the mushroom, how much time they have left to complete the level and their overall score. So a good user interface doesn't obscure the player's field of view, but it gives them all important information. Animations. The use of successive drawings to create an illusion of movement when shown as a sequence, therefore creating emphasis. These animations also usually form patterns, which will tell the player the current behavior state of an enemy. They also can relay movement and that way the player can study, they can learn, they can memorize and master the game space. Animations are also a great way to indicate to the player and teach them of a new mechanic. In this game, the player is introduced to Yoshi and when Yoshi comes out of her shell, she has this animation playing indicating she is hungry therefore teaching the player a brand new mechanic. Yoshi can not only eat uh, fruits, but also enemies. Visual effects. Imagery created to alter or enhance game assets by increasing visual appeal or readability. In short, it's to emphasize areas of interest, whether or not the player is doing good, things they should go explore, or immediate danger. The visual effects draw our, our attention. In conclusion, what is visual art in games? Well, first, it is used to inform the player of design, what's happening under the hood, what things are good, what things are bad, what things are safe, what things are dangerous. It lets the player know how they're doing. Second, it brings life to the game space. It creates an, an immersive, memorable play area, it also can tell a story. If I can give you any tips when you're just getting started, it's keep it simple, focus on readability, study the elements and principles of design. So that way, as you start creating more games and more art, you can know when to bend and break rules to surprise the player later. Thank you. I can't wait to see what you make at the next Game Jam.